Klaus, what is your plans oh, today? We'll try to make once again a big flight. Ah. I go to the Pyrenees and we hope tomorrow to go to Austria. Wow. Idea. <laughs> Have a good fly. Yeah, thank you. Отважные пилоты аккуратно выполняют предполетную подготовку. Читают чек-листы. Это очень важно, потому что главное не забыть что-нибудь. А ваш покорный слуга, как правило, что-нибудь забывает. Хотя чек-листы, конечно, тоже читает, но не так, конечно, аккуратно, как это положено. Запуск. Запустился. Мне нужно срочно на исходную для съемки. Сейчас попутный ветер и сильный, поэтому они пытаются вырулить максимальным запасом по полосе. Толкают планер назад на максимально возможную дистанцию. Почему это происходит? Юго-восточный ветер, самый опасный ветер на аэродроме. За этим холмом будет мощнейший нисходящий поток. Планер оттолкали на максимально возможную дистанцию до самого конца асфальта. Асфальтовая полоса 400 метров. Ну и сейчас мы посмотрим, как взлетает штемми в самых плохих метеоусловиях, которые можно представить. Давай, родной. Пошел. Поехал. Разгоняется. взлетел ну конечно набирает тяжело чувствуется попутная составляющая и сейчас за горой его начнет плющить вниз потому что попутный ветер догонит ну нормально ушли немножко ниже справятся и пошли курсом на перенее в испанию завтра этот планер даст вселенная вернется назад ой вернется улетит в словению <laughs> Потом назад домой вернется. Вот такая вот красота. First adventure. We have passed. We landed here in Oleron, Herer. And uh, the problem was that the piece, the runway was quite wet. And we got stuck. And by good luck, Benoit, the chief pilot from here, he helped us. He saved us. <laughs> If he would not have been here, there's nobody. <laughs> so not only he helped us and he has all this stuff to fix the gliders and really really great help and good luck that we had so sometimes you need good luck now we see this beautiful rotor and uh, wave system above us and Benoit helped us to fix the plane so we had a heavy rotor <coughs> in the approach and now we hope that tomorrow the wind is as well Uh, western wind because the runway is really <coughs> soft and uh, so we got stuck and we couldn't only take the glider out with the car of Benoit so Thomas is cleaning now for tomorrow and we hope all the best that tomorrow <laughs> it will be like we want that it have to be so uh, part number one of the adventure was good <laughs> So this morning was a little bit a pity because uh, we could not start early in uh, Oloron. The runway was very wet and uh, humid from the ground. Uh, the soil was really difficult uh, to roll to taxi. And so uh, now we are in the Pyrenees uh, south of saint Gaudens in the wonderful waves. And we will continue. Uh, let's see what happens. So now we have a little bit more luck uh, after a very fast uh, eastern part of the Pyrenees. Uh, now we are crossing uh, towards uh, Montpellier and our goal is the moment to uh, hopefully we find wave there. We see here the border of Spain, Papignon on our right hand side and the Mediterranean Sea. And on the left side the Central Massif. Uh, we see clouds today. Uh, it's very good day for crossing, and Marseille allowed us 
from the Pyrenees direct uh, to Capontra, a long descent from 6,000 meters there. That's great. So we have beautiful alignments here in the Pyrenees, uh, finally. Uh, the problem was that we had uh, a cold front in the west and uh, it was too close to the front which creates this uh, southwestern wind and makes these beautiful waves in the Pyrenees. We arrived, uh, the missing link from the Pyrenees now to the Mont-Ventoux, we did it! So 300 kilometers with tailwind from 6000 in the Pyrenees and now we are north of Mont-Ventoux. I uh, have a little one meter now before it was 2.8 and we will continue to the north and Switzerland and probably to Austria. So that's was really good and good luck as well. Now we are north uh, of uh, Alpe d'Huez uh, and west of us the Granite Valley and we can see there's a lot of snow dust on the tops of the mountain so we have a lot of wind nearly 100 kilometers per hour and this in uh, 3,000 or uh, 4,000 meters. but the visibility is not that good. There is a Guidarve. Behind is the Col de Col de Col. Col de Calibier. Voilà. 100 kilometers west of Innsbruck. In seven meters per second, uh, beautiful. And we see lenticularis clouds, but as well high stratus clouds. Yes. So I was a little bit occupied, so I could not really film a lot, but now it's better and we have a tailwind of more than 100 kilometers per hour. And our ground speed is consequently more or less uh, something 250 to 300 kilometers per hour. We are now west of Graz and we can see the wave here. We are authorized uh, to climb to flight level 160 and whoa, uh, it will be very, very interesting. So we see we have this kind of bad visibility, but to the east it looks much better. So let's see. We can see this wonderful lenticularis, but we are not climbing until this lenticularis. A little bit pity because we could make our goal to Nitra in Slovakia. Uh, we had the altitude to go there, but uh, here in uh, information they did not authorize us to, to fly in this altitude. So we are now in Wiener Neustadt and we will land uh, with the Glider France here. Sind das die grünen Streifen, auf denen man landet, oder die, äh, die, die braunen? Hallo. So, wir sind hier gelandet in Wiener Neustadt West. Ich wusste gar nicht, welcher Flugplatz das ist, aber ich habe es dann gefragt. Ja, auf den anderen gibt es auch Segelflieger? Auf den, auf den anderen Flugplatz gibt es auch Segelflieger oder sind die alle? Am Ostplatz, nein. 
Genau, Aber eigentlich Platz, nicht. Nee, ist Militär, ne? Nein, das ist das Militär, der Militärplatz. Das ist nicht. Das <lacht> ist gerade ausgegangen. Ihr seid hier im Militärplatz, wir müssen es im Militär melden, das werde ich dann tun. Okay. Also die haben hier, ich habe ja äh, Lima Oscar Alpha November angegeben, weil ich dachte, dieser Riesenplatz, das ist garantiert Nein, das ist der, der Militärplatz. Normal dürfen hier fremde Flugzeuge eigentlich nicht landen. Ja, das, das war, ein ja, war ja eine Notmaßnahme. Ja, ja, wir wissen ja. natürlich mit Not. <lacht> Nein, Nein, wir werden es schon reden. Thomas, was sagst du dazu? <lacht> Was sage ich dazu? Hammer! <lacht> ah, so ein geiler Flug. Ne? Also, wir wollten eigentlich von Pirates ausfliegen. So, Klaus und Thomas are really preparing right. a new adventure today. We are on the airfield of. Uh, Wiener Neustadt West, a very, very big airfield, 350 hectares. And it's a natural park at the same, a military airport, and the gliding center, the gliding center of Austria. Wonderful airfield. So now we will start on a 1,600 meter runway with a little bit tailwind in order to get earlier in the air. So today is a wave day and We hope to have a fine wave day once again and uh, we see where we will land this evening. Let's go! So today the day is much more tricky, So, but we are now on the Schmittenhöhe, north, north of Zell am See. Looking at the ski stations here, they are still active. Nice little aerodrome, Salam See. Just below us uh, in Raleigh, the, the airfield of Salam See. Salam See, the airfield. Today we are still on the airfield of Hohenems in Austria, just at the limit of the border to Germany, to the north. And to the west we have uh, the situation that we have the Switzerland border. And if you are looking to the south, it's once again a beautiful day with waves. So we see the wave of Chesaplana here. Uh, it's unbelievable, nice uh, lenticularis clouds and rotor clouds. Uh, the I have a little bit the situation that on the southern uh, part of the Alps, uh, due to the humid air mass, we have uh, the situation that it's raining there, that's normal. Yesterday we had uh, another situation, it was really the Sahara uh, dust which was in the air, which made a very, very, very bad visibility. So today uh, we have the problem that in southern France it's raining and we have a small window to uh, arrive there. So we take the motor and will fly probably three to four hours with the motor in order to reach our home base. So let's see what this adventure gives us today. At least we have a beautiful sight on the mountains compared to yesterday. So Thomas is preparing just uh, the Stemme for the start in motor flight. Klaus is there as well. So. Let's go. So, Let's go. Checklist. Pedaldevice aufgesteckt. Beladeplan ist okay. Falsch und Gute okay. Sitz und Pedale sind eingestellt. The stemmer is a relatively complex plane, so sometimes it's very good to have a checklist. Bremskammer sind verriegelt. Brandtan ist auf. Tankballschalter beide. Höhenmesser ist eingestellt. Bremse ist gesetzt. Alle Schalter sind aus. Fahrradschalter ist down. Kraftstoffschumper ist aus. Oben, ist oben verriegelt. Okay. 
Choke voll, Gas ganz raus. Betriebsspannung ist da. Test ist auch erfolgreich. Die geht nicht mehr, die Warnung. Okay, Kühlaufklappen auf. Verstellung grün. Okay, Zusatzpumpe ein und Gas.
have the lake of Geneva on our right side and uh, we are changing a little bit the flight plan due to the wonderful weather that we have here. Thank you. 
Hall de Saint-Leu. For us uh, to get stuck with rain and uh, bad visibility. So we are between two layers of clouds, uh, but it looks quite nice. Yeah, it's a stem, eh? you can do things like that. It's
Corona conditions. But uh, yeah, it was a little bit challenging. Right? And we can see, despite the little rain that we have here, we have not perfect but quite uh, okay the weather conditions. So a little bit rain. Uh, so our airfield comes inside. Just in front of me, we check the wind sun. Из очередного приключения вернулся Клаус. Друзья, оцените погоду. Никто даже не думает летать, потому что везде он горы в досадках. Я не знаю, как они смогли прорваться. Но факт остается фактом. Вот он, огромный плюс Штеме. Что этот планер залетел сквозь дождь через тернии к звездам. So our friend Igor, who is eager to have this, all these uh, registers of our beautiful flight and his friends from different countries. Больше всего Клаус радуется, что я ему уже ангар открыл. Вот видите, друзья, кем я работаю. Открывальщиком ангаров. Идет дождь, мы решили немножко на пипестреле пожужжать, но не стали. Клаус открыли двери. So, Morris is stopped. <laughs> what an adventure. <laughs> incredible, incredible, incredible. But wonderful. Окошко погоды. Какое Клаус умудрился использовать 
для, так сказать, полетов. Вы посмотрите, что творится. Реально жесткие заряды. Есть какие-то окна, но спуститься через эти облака мало реально. In the hangar now, and we could see it was really heavy rain outside. It came just in time. A lot of water and a lot of bad visibility. But now we are home, we are safe in the hangar here in Sar. Everything is fine, uh, four days adventure finished.